Chinese breakfast. So good. You know that feeling when you have guests over and you feel like you have to take them to all the touristy spots? Well, this is like my fifth time, no actually my sixth time here in Hong Kong and every single time we come with a group of new people. This is my sixth time here at Stanley Market. It's a cool place to get fifths but six times is worth way too many times. What are you guys getting? I got this guy here, but I don't I don't have this guy here. So it's only it's going up. I how much is how much is this? 240? What's best price? Huh? So that wound up being about 220 Hong Kong dollar, which is about 30 bucks. But now oh, I just lost all my friends. So at this point, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting a long time. Yeah, and, and none of them have SIM cards at all, so I can only hope that they're gonna make their way this way, because otherwise, I'm just gonna wait. Finally caught up with them. It's like they never even noticed I was gone. Okay, so I, honestly, I turned my back on them for like two seconds, and they're gone again. Literally, this has been like, 45 minutes I've been looking for these guys. Okay, you know where I found them? Right where I left them. We hadn't moved the same shop for like 45 minutes. Dude, I take my eyes off you guys for two seconds. So now finally on the more relaxing part of afternoon journey where we're done with shopping and we're just hanging out, people watching and having lunch. It's as hot as can be here. I think it's about like 90. So if you're in Hong Kong, you need to grab the little stuff like this, like these like shoelaces and the little major drones and I don't know, chopsticks. Then come on here to Stanley Market, I guess, because it's not too bad. However, if you don't need any of this stuff, just come for the view, food's pretty good, and get out of here because saying you went here and left is better than saying you went here and actually spending time here. It's just my two cents. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, so I'm about to do something that I really haven't thought about doing before. Actually, I've thought about it a lot. But this is something that I haven't tried before. So what I'm afraid about is losing the drone because the buildings cause magnetic interference and next thing you know, it just flies away. I'm gonna give it a go because I'm in Hong Kong and I don't know when I'm gonna be here again. And I have to get these shots. At least I think I do.
about like what, 10 to 15 minutes of flight time? He came back, he came back. So those guys who were watching for the drone, they're Navy guys and they're stationed in, in Tokyo. So shout out to you guys, man. You're awesome and I do appreciate all your service. See that right back there? That's what I got the shots of on the drone. Clearly, the drone is much better. But I love this town. I had to whisper in there. Little people doing work and kind of had meetings. I don't know if it's really good form to have meetings in the lounge, but it still didn't want to get in their way. Back to the room. So the day today started honestly on the really mellow side. We didn't think we were going to get a lot done. A little trip to Stanley Market, lunch, flying the drone. All right, so I thought this night was over, but apparently it's not. Tonight is the anniversary of China becoming a republic, which political reasons aside, whatever. But the fireworks are awesome. There are millions of people in China who are celebrating their anniversary today. So, to that end, happy birthday, China. It's not meant to be political, and I hope that you appreciate this. If you do, give it a thumbs up. 